Hey, my Love Island fans, we got to talk about what happened in Spain. It looked like we had a saucy night in the hideaway. An L-bomb was slipped up by one of our islanders, and there was one shock admission. Welcome back to Romance Review TV. It's Lady T. I got another recap for you guys. Love Island, Australia, Season 4, Episode Number 10. And without any further ado, let's talk about what happened this episode. Okay, so we left off the previous episode with Tak and Maddie was saved. However, Holly and Connor was dumped. And when Connor was asked if he was going to pursue Holly, he said yes. Yeah. She was like, uh yikes however with maddie she was absolutely grateful and shocked that she was actually saved from being dumped now talk of course is happy that the two of them remain in the villa and that they can pursue whatever connection that he's trying to build with her i don't know if he's going to get that in return but the thing is she is absolutely excited and is looking forward to move forward now, as for Jess and Al, they are hot, hot, hot. And so hot that even while they were making eye contact and having this little verbal conversation, they were so hot that Jessica burned the little cheese sandwich that she was making. Yeah, that was hilarious. As for Austin and Claudia, they are doing extremely well. They're very happy with each other and look like Claudia is a little smitten by him. Now, she was in a previous, both of them actually were in previous, previous couplings, but now that they're together, they're actually doing well and she's excited about it. And we got to stay tuned because they have a little private moment as well down the line, but they're absolutely cute and doing well. There's another couple that's really doing well also, and that is Stella and Jordan. And Honestly, I didn't know how he was going to proceed in the villa. A lot of the girls was concerned about his mullet, but sometimes you can't judge a book by its cover because he's been the, you know, the hot commodity since day one. A lot of the girls were interested and there is a bombshell in episode number 11 that's coming for him as well, but we'll talk about that later. However, Stella and Jordan are really feeling each other and she is just giddy about this guy and he is such a sweet guy he's really nice he got some form of like an innocence to him but Stella is loving every minute of it now this was an interesting conversation that Maddie had with the girls now as much as she sees that Tack is a nice guy she can't help to have an issue with him being shorter than her and so she was like i i i, I gotta stick with it i don't want to self-sabotage he's a nice guy and he's really good for me but she got to get over the height thing and you know i i think that um i don't know if that's what's keeping her from really becoming connected but yeah that height thing is a big issue for her as for Colum, I don't know. He said that he was smarter than Mitchell. Well, it kind of went left in this whole conversation that he had with the group about spelling a particular word. And yeah, he was saying that because of him being Welsh, that there's additional letters in the alphabet. Whereas Phoebe was like, uh, no, it's the same. Anywho, Jordan and Stella got a text message saying that they were going to get ready to go on a date and it had to do with grape expectations. And of course, when you think of grape and you think of these types of shows, it must be about making wine, which of course, probably what this is. So they were headed out on to their date and I think they're absolutely cute together. The energy between, between them are great. But speaking of grapes... Of course, there they were, and they had to jump into this bucket where they had to smash all of these grapes. But at the same time, they really had a good time, you know, and he was like, hey, if you eat the grapes, don't they kind of help your libido or your sex drive or something? And she was cracking up, but they had a pretty good time on that date. They actually were able to sit down 
and have a little bit of conversation about, you know, how their connection is going and where, you know, where they see themselves headed. And they're in a good spot, you know. Um, This was his first time drinking wine. And so he was like, you know, he really never been in a relationship or been like this with a girl that he had a good date like he did with Stella. So he was saying, you know what, when you experience things like this, there's always first times for different things. So yeah, I'm excited to see where these two go. I just hope when Casa Moore comes, Stella doesn't turn her head because I've seen this when you, a lot of girls get with nice guys, but then that bad boy, you know, urge come along and it turns the head. So hopefully she can stick it you know, stick stick in it with them when it comes to Jordan and building their relationship and connection. Because right now, she is excited and over the moon about Jordan. So let's talk about Colum and how he wants to retest his relationship. Now, he's getting on really well with Layla, but he admits in this episode that he is still very much open to getting to know other bombshells. Now, he has this discussion with Al where he tells him, I want to test myself more than anything because in my head, I really do like everything about Layla. But because I'm obviously an F boy, now she's changing me. I want to see if she actually is changing me. And if a bombshell walks in, it'll be a test. Over at the beach hut, Colum was going on still talking about that being an F boy is apparently just part of his nature. Ooh. Now, you can't take the F boy out of Australia, but you can't. And he got confused with his words. Then he said, you can't take the F boy out of Wales. Yeah, but basically, Layla changed him, but it's going to be a real test when a new hot bird comes in here to see how he will react. And he said, when I came through these doors, I told all these girls that I always think the grass is greener. Now, what did Layla think? Well, she knows what she's dealing with with Colum, and she hopes that they can just stick it out, and she's that girl for him. But yeah, I think she's kind of expecting that something is probably going to change because Colum just said that's the way it works in 2022, that he's always going to be looking elsewhere. But he did say he hopes her grass is like AstroTurf because if a new hot bird come in, it's done. Ooh, yikes. So let's talk about Mitchell because he accidentally drops the L-bomb. So after Mitchell said that he never felt this way about a girl before in his life following the hideaway with Phoebe, he seems to be smitten and that his comments are far from over. So he has a conversation with the boys where he accidentally appears to admit that he's in love with Phoebe. And he, you know, Austin asked him, do you think the L word is possibly coming up? He replies, well, we talked about it. I'm definitely falling for her, but it's like on the outside, I've never told a girl I love her. And she told me she loves me back. I've told two girls I love them and they both not said it back. And it's hard you know, to know when too early or it's too late, you know, but talk was funny. He was like, but you did brush your teeth with her toothbrush, uh, last night. And of course he said that I did. That's a big step. And I know, I know a lot of folks like Jordan said he would never use somebody's toothbrush, um, you know, with anybody, but yep, he slipped up and he knows it and the boys don't want to let it go. So yeah, the L word has arrived in the villa, which is what Tox says, saying love is in the air with Mitchell. Okay, so now Tok gets a text message stating that they're going to do another challenge where they get to win these rewards or these discounts and cashbacks. Kind of weird to me. Anywho, so they had to compete against other couples. The first round was them trying to carry this eggplant without dropping it. And Al and Jessica won that first round, which, okay. And then they had to have one person with their feet up in the air with a banana tucked between their feet and then they had to kind of woof it down before the other couple and win that round and honestly maddie took that banana in in one full stroke and a lot of the other couples were like oh 
okay. And TAC didn't have a problem with it, but they did win. The last one was they had to put a peach in their mouth and swim to the other end of the pool to beat the other couple and then spray whipped cream all over either the face or the apple. And Mitchell and Phoebe won that particular round. So then at the end, it was this crazy thing about the hideaway being open. And in order to get it, you need $1,500 in cash rebates. They borrowed them from the winners, and of course, we saw Austin and Claudia was able to go into the hideaway. They didn't even win any of the challenges. Okay, whatever, whatever works. So now, Tak has an idea. He wants to be romantic for Maddie because, you know, Maddie's on the fence. So he recruits Claudia to help him put together this little meat and cheese tray um, and then also to distract her as well. Now, Jordan, because he made the previous plate for his girl, Stella, he helped. So they put strawberries and nuts and f some type of weird fish that they was like, ooh, it stinks. But then when they tasted, I guess it was kind of bland. Well, meanwhile, she kept um, Maddie, you know, distracted by asking her about her relationship and Maddie looking like, okay, what are you trying to do? Jessica was in on it too. And when they were all ready, they brought Maddie up to the terrace where everything was all set up. Tak was waiting for her and created this whole romantic surprise for Maddie. And she was shocked. One reason she was shocked is she said she has never had a guy do something like this for her. And I'm like, girl, what type of guys you've been dealing with? She was shook that actually a man, she said she didn't even think a man was capable of doing something like this. I'm like, maybe the ones that you chose or was with. But anywho, there are nice guys that do things like this, but she was really surprised. What was interesting is when it came time to taste that fish, he wanted her to taste it. She was like, no, you taste it first because it might do something to me. I'm like, oh, okay. He was like, oh, it's not bad. He finally got her to taste it and she was like, uh, okay, it's not too bad, but she chased that down with a little bit of wine. So yeah, I don't think she was feeling that, but he was definitely feeling her. I just hope that he don't get his heart broken because that height thing is really getting to her. I don't care how nice he is. I just don't think she's 100% sold on talk and that's so unfortunate. So now it's time for Claudia and Austin to redeem their rewards to go ahead and head into the hideaway. And they are over the moon excited. Um, I'm thinking that this couple might get to the end. If somebody was to screw up, I would assume that it might be Claudia. But for right now, um, they head over to the hideaway. They think it's absolutely beautiful. I honestly think that something's about to go down with these two. But they actually started talking about when they had the little pillow talk about where they were going to move to. He was hoping to move closer to her. She was hoping to move closer to him. And they're just like making big plans on life outside of the villa, which is awesome. They got into a little bit of romance. And the reason why I think that something went further, because they showed us a little bit of movement of the sheets, the grabbing of the sheets. So, yeah, they are on point. However, we got two new lady bombshells. This young lady is coming in for Jordan. This young lady is coming in for Colum. So, yeah, episode 12 is going to be interesting. I don't see Jordan turning his head, but I don't know. Maybe Colum will because he already likes when grass is always greener. Okay, so let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. Do you think Colum is going to eventually turn his head? What do you think about Stella and Jordan's relationship? And what do you think about some of our other couples that are up and coming? Austin and Claudia, Jessica and Al. Let me know your thoughts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.